Hello everyone, I am Shagnik and I welcome you all to online learning. Today, I am going to discuss about the Tech Mahindra psychometric round. Okay, so this round will come in your second phase or in your second round. When you clear your aptitude round, you will be able to see this round. Okay, so in this round, you have two parts. One is psychometry and another one is technical. Okay, today I am going to discuss about the psychometry. So, in the psychometric questions, the time is 15 minutes and total questions you get is 50 to 75. Initially, they used to give 50 questions, but when I have given this exam two years back, they have taken 75 questions. So, it will range between 50 to 75 questions. Okay. And this year, as the first round pattern is also changed, so you can expect that time or questions can be somewhat different. It could be 25 minutes as well. Okay. And many people ask, is this an elimination round or not? Yes, this is also an elimination round because you have to clear your cutoff in the technical part. Okay, but even if you have done very well in your technical part and if you have given very contradictory answers in your psychometric exam, so which does not match to the company's policy, then you can be rejected so keep in mind the questions will be related to your behavior but don't give any contradictory answers okay don't give any answers that does not go with any organization okay it will test your behavioral skills i will show you the sample questions and answers as well okay now take my main highlight of psychometric questions the questions are common questions to analyze your reaction suppose uh, uh, there is a fight between two of your tech leads at that time what you will do okay like this type of question okay it is used to check that you are fit for the organization or not suppose uh, they are given uh, that there is a, a situation of posh posh means prevention of sexual harassment okay so some people has uh, harassing someone okay some people some people are harass harassing a lady at that situation what you will do you will not react to that if you say no i will not react to that and i will only do my work this these things are contradictory so it might reject you okay uh, you have to give answers which are practical as well and which goes by any organization's procedures and rules okay we'll check your behavioral skills like what is your behavior okay now let us move to the sample questions or previous year questions sample question so your interface will be like this so they will ask you a question like people usually put their own well-being first you can put on tick mark on most likely me somewhat likely me or neutral you can pass neutral people are more concerned about each other's well-being somewhat likely me most likely me see you can mark any answers but remember your answer should not be contradictory because you will have very less time okay and the questions will be more so many a times it happen whatever the questions you are getting in one to ten questions they will again repeat they will change something and they will repeat the same questions after 40 to 50 questions so they are going to check that you are bluffing or not if you are bluffing maybe you will forgot what answers you have marked initially so if both of the answers are contradictory then they will know you are telling something like so whenever you are marking the answers think before what you will actually do if it actually happens with you so if you are marking people usually put their well-being first somewhat like me maybe in second question it is a question and you have marked somewhat like me but again in the 48th question they have done some changes okay bit change and you have marked something answer like uh, this like this type of thing people are more concerned about each other well-being so at that time you maybe have marked this so your answers are becoming contradicted so don't do this okay then then the questions can be I would rather say things that will make people ha happy. Most likely, someone like me, neutral. I would rather say what is right. Someone like me, most likely. Again, you can mark any answers according to your behavior. But 
you have to make sure whatever you are marking the same thing if you are again getting similar type of question the same thing you should mark in that as well okay okay so what are the tips again don't bluff because they will check your answers are contradictory or not don't spend much time on single question because maybe there will be 15 minutes and you have to mark 75 questions so it might happen that uh, at the end of 14 minutes you are still stuck with the 50th question you will not be able to complete fully so so suppose if you are answering only 50 to 55 questions it might also reject you they will feel you are very slow okay or you are making some answers that is wrong that is not goes with your behavior you are trying to uh, be somewhat like other person okay you are not actual actually what you are marking okay so uh, again think before making answers uh, before marking answers don't uh, mark anything in one go think what is the question if you face that situation what you will do because these things will be shared to the interviewers hr may ask you same situation type of question to you so if you have marked something now and during hr questions when they will give you situation questions if your answers are contradictory that might also reject you so keep these things in mind best of luck and i hope you will clear this exam and if you have any doubt you can let me know in the comment section